Before we dive into fails and bails this month, there is something up for grabs for one of you lucky viewers. There's going to be a race jersey, some shorts and some socks to one of you lucky viewers. So stick around, it could be you. Welcome back you beautiful people and welcome to this month's fails and bails compilation where we've gathered all of those gnarly gnarly crashes that you guys have been sending in. Now I just wish this dude was wearing a full face helmet. Oh my gosh, let's kick it off with the first one. Number one has been sent in by Theo. We're in the UK and he's been riding his local trail, Canmore Towers, in the woods there. Now this is his first run down this trail on a Scott Ransom 2020 model. Now that's a sick bike. Look at this. That wasn't the best start, was it? Look at that, comes in, bang! Tree, like, where did that come from? Where? Trees don't move. But listen to him chatting away after he crashed. That wasn't the best start, was it? Yeah, no, I agree. I like how he just flopped his head down and goes, oh man, dude, that's gnarly. That's gnarly. Let's watch that again, because trees do not move. That wasn't the best start, was it? Oh, bro, scrub. Uh, he got he got away from that so lucky. He is so lucky. Look at that. Ah, uh, dude, I feel for you. I feel for you. Let's move on to number two. Right, we we're going from the UK. We're going all the way down under. We're going to Australia, dude, where Sam has been shredding his Cannondale, and this Cannondale of his has a lefty. Now look at him jump this jump. Right. No way, dude. Like, how? I thought it went in slow mo and he was going along his front wheel. And I thought, oh no, oh no, oh no. And it carried on and on and on. And then, boom, over the bar, slams into the next takeoff. And he's just holding his shoulder, going, oh, dude, dude. Like, just, just after, just went for a nice Saturday afternoon ride. Ended up on the floor. Let me just read out what he did say in the description. It says, just up for a nice Saturday afternoon ride that ended up with some nice broken ribs. No idea why I hit the jump like I did. Sam, healing vibes out to you, dude. Broken ribs are horrible, especially when people make you laugh. It's nasty. I've had a few. I feel your pain. Let's move on to number three. Right, we're going from Australia, from down under, we're going all the way to the United States of America. We're going to, we're going to New York. We're going to Luther Forest, where Lawrence has been sending it hard, well, sending it hard to flat to his face. It's, uh, this one caught me by surprise. Like, there's a landing. He didn't even land on it. He landed completely flat. Watch this. Oh, oh my dude, man. In front of all your friends, you're coming off this drop all the way, you're like completely over the bars and come, just land starfish on the floor. Do you know what? So far, these crashes have been quite gnarly. They've been quite gnarly. Let's move on to number four, please. Well, let's watch that again and then we'll move on. And then, that's good. Oh. That, is, that is so hard. The feeling of just going off a drop or off a jump, going over the bars is the most unnatural thing. It just feels so horrible. You can't do anything to get out of it. You just have to go with it and just brace for impact. Just like James in Austin, Texas, riding this trail on his Trek Bronson. I need to watch it because I love a good POV and he's going down the trail following his mate. His mate's quite far ahead, but then he comes around this corner, Wait, bang! washes out. Now, I've been there. I've been to a, I'm just, this is my crash. This is the mega avalanche where I crashed and washed out. Yes, you see, yeah. I've been there. It's so horrible not knowing what's underneath when you come to like bedrock and there's just like dirt scattered all over it. Just like marbles, it's like riding ice, it's nasty. Let's watch old James again, because boom, oh. And he's just, just, he's holding his wrists. He's just holding it. I feel your pain, dude. Oh, 
Oh shit! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just watch that again, please. Oh, look at the, the sound. Ah, oh, did he break his wrist? No, he didn't break his wrist. Yes, James. Yes. Let's move on. Number five. Okay, so we're moving all the way from the United States. We're coming back to the United Kingdom where I've been to these woods, Danbury Common. I've been there with Sam Pilgrim and I've seen this gap. This is Pilgs and I talking about this gap. I saw this chasm of doom. Look how big it is. Yeah, this is, this is actually so bad. Is it, right? Like every, like, mostly every day someone gets like airlifted out of here because of this one gap. No. It's so big and so kicky. So oh. you can go first. And there's a 40-foot drop into it. But that doesn't mean we're not going to send it, does it? No. Yes, he said there's a few people that always go over the bars here and just do their collarbone in. Now, Danny's been here and he went and rode this gap, so he's been doing it a few times. He was clearing it and he thought, hell, I haven't even got it on camera. So he got his friend to film him, but he didn't realise his friend was in the ditch as he jumped over and watch this. Just watch this. Oh. Yeah, he went slow mo, landed on his nether regions, on the stem, and just got spat over the bars in slow motion so we could see the whole thing going down. Dude, Danny, I hope you know what, you're all right. He said he, he got up, he did it again, and he did it successfully. Now that's what it's all about, getting back up on that horse and conquering that certain trail, that drop, that jump, anything. Getting back on the horse is the best thing about doing a fail because if you don't, you'll just feel very more, you'll feel just more intimidated. And the longer you leave it, the longer you feel scared about doing it. Get back on it, get straight onto it, reassess what happened, and then do it again. And hopefully it comes out right. Or just continue to do and do and do until you get it. Because I've been there with tricks. Let's move on. Right, some hardtail action. Now, I wasn't aware on who the rider was. Okay, when I watched it, I was like, holy moly, that's a hell of a crash. And it's not just once she did it, she did it twice. Watch this first one. I'm good. Because I've never seen someone get flung into the air like that. I thought she landed it. And then, whoom! Like, see ya! I don't, oh, where did that come from? I'm gonna watch that again, number one, again. I love the zebra carpet. <laughs> oh, I... She's like, I'm okay. I die, I... but that's not it. She just didn't do it once. Like I said, she did it twice. Watch this. Number two was worse. I'm so happy she's wearing a full face helmet because that there, it's, I'm gonna watch that again. Look at her, it just, it just. Oh, dude. Bang. Oh. Jessica, I'm glad you're all right. Let's move on. Oh, I'm just right, this is, this is Tom. We're going from the United States. We're going all the way back down under. We're going to, we're going back to Australia, Queensland. That's not, Queensland, Australia. Queensland is New Zealand? Anyway, that's a fail for me on my geography. Anyway, this is Tom. He was like shredding some local noir, his urban style, hopping over the stair gap, stair rail thing to a grass bank where there's loads of people watching. Watch this, I'm watching it. I'm gonna watch it right now. <laughs> okay, that was the first one I could laugh at because he got up, he was all right, he dropped his sunglasses and everyone's looking. The guy playing cricket just turns around, looks at him and then carries on playing cricket. I'll tell him I feel your pain and the embarrassment. 
I'm just, I'm just, I'm glad you're all right. You're wearing a backpack, so that kind of, whatever's in there, it could be broken. You might want to check it. Let's just watch that again and move on. Oh. Well done, Tom. Dignity is still intact. You're humble, you walked away from it unscathed. And we had a little bit of a laugh because that one was, that was okay. This next one, I, to be, I've just been reading it. It is, um, and I watched it, and it's from Samuel. We're going from Australia, we're going all the way to Europe. We're going to Slovakia. Now, whew, brace yourself. Watch this. The sound of him and his bike hitting that tree, like I say all the time, trees do not move. That tree wasn't moving for anything. And he says, luckily I walked away unharmed and also my bike. Only saddle, no, the only thing that broke on his was the saddle ripped off his rails. I'm not surprised nothing else got ripped off, like the front end of your bike. Let's watch that, just this, the sound of him hitting the tree. Let's just hear that again. Oh, it just sounds like the sound of bones breaking, which nothing happened to him. Unreal. And he just started jumping. Let's play the whole thing again and just move on, please, because that's horrible. Yeah, the sound is still going through my body. The sound of it's in my brain racking like, oh, maybe I'm going all like soft and stuff in this lockup where I'm stuck at home, not riding my bike. I'm looking at these things and going, whoa, dude, we actually go out and ride between trees and jump over some sketchy stuff and all that. Nah, whatever, let's move on. This one's from Sandy. We're moving all the way back to the United Kingdom. This is in Devon. Now he's shredding this nice jump that he's built with his mates. It's quite, it's a gap, you know? He has to clear it. <laughs> let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, yo! <laughs> yeah! Oh, it's like, comes in, big gap, boom! The biggest gap. <laughs> oh, but, and he's like, oh my God, and it's, they're laughing. And he goes, yeah. we have to bleep that out. Bleep, 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 bleep. Okay, enough of that. We're moving from the United Kingdom. We're jumping on an imaginary airplane because I can't really do that right now. So we jump on an airplane, we're going <laughs> And we're going all the way to California where Ian has been shredding some gnar. And this caught me by surprise because I thought, well, why? Oh, look, he went into a bush, okay? But the second rider in the train, watch them. So let's watch from the beginning. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh cool landing, his mate says, crashing in the bushes. But then, whoa, where did he come from? He like came in, that jump's massive, so you need speed to clear it. Now he's coming in, jumps it, lands a little bit on the back wheel, not feathering the rear brake, and just goes out of frame, in a longest manual speed thing, sideways drifting, speedway sort of style, and and just 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 crashes, just crashes off off screen. I'm gonna watch that again. Oh uh, look, his mate's in the bushes. Hey, fine. Whoa, and the mate comes in. Whoa. Camera cut. Let's pause it. Right as he exits at the frame of the camera, I want to see the angle he is doing on that because. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna pause it. I right, pause. Oh my gosh. Look at the, that's like, if he held that, if he jumped that and went into a turn with that sort of steez style, hats off to you dude, because, well it didn't end well did it? He, rider one cleared the first hip, then bailed into bush, rider two, Felt confident, but still needed to practice his manual skills. That's what he says in the description. <laughs> Let's play that again, because that is, <laughs> is actually quite funny. It was quite funny. Nice 
<laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm glad no one's hurt there. So far, no one's got hurt, apart from a few scratches and some dignity being smashed up and stuff like that. Anyway, we're gonna stay in the United States and we're going all the way to Salt Lake City, where Mark is riding his YT Jeff seat. Now, he's dropping in, literally. Now, this is the one, I, I'll just leave it. Watch this, because Oh, do you your face on that? I'm good. Oh my goodness me. Mark, I think you need to invest in one of these, dude, because you don't want this thing to get, you don't want your grill getting smashed up, especially your pearlies, because I know the dental practice and all the doctor things happening and all those bills that you guys have in the United States is costly. But he says he's fine at the end of the clip. How? I'm good. Like, how do you move a rock that's bigger than your head with your head and say you're fine? Let's watch that again, but let's like slow down as he's Face planting, face, face, literally face planting a rock. How is your face okay after that? Look how big that rock is, dude. His friend said, are you all right? And he says, yes, he's fine. Full face helmet, please, mate. Next time you do that drop, full face. Cause, well, he actually looked like he curled up just before, so it hit his, I don't know. I don't know. What, what, just watch the whole clip and just, just let's just move on from that face because <laughs> Mark, thank you, you're fine. Oh, do you your face on that? Okay. We're staying, we're staying over there, I think. Uh, or oh, we're moving over to the United Kingdom. I actually don't know where it is because he just says, it doesn't say where it is. Well, this is Samuel, he's riding his old bear. He says that the Enduros were canceled, so he went out to ride with his mate. His mate sat down by this corner and said, drop in, I'm gonna film you coming around this turn. Let's go. Rob sent this one in, he's riding his common cell. Now this looks like an urban downhill race. Down some stairs. Now, I've done an urban downhill race and it is terrifying, especially when it gets narrow and you're going downstairs and it's just nasty, there's no room for error. Whereas this place, you don't want to be going in these rails. Let's just watch what happens. Oh. Oh, now that is a horrible sound. Imagine just walking down the stairs and just tripping and falling, it's nasty. I feel like sometimes when I go down some big steps, I'll fall down and I'm like, oh, I imagine myself going, I'm like, hell no, that's so scary, dude. But shame, poor Rob, he broke both his elbows in that crash. Poor guy. Healing vibes to you, dude. Thank you very much for sending it in. And I'm glad you're gonna be back on your bike very soon and riding your bike again. Urban downhill races, scary. But let's watch it again and move on. Okay, now we're moving from the United Kingdom, from Cornwall, from all facts. Like, we, I haven't seen anything from the Cornwall, from the west country of the United Kingdom. But we're gonna jump on an aeroplane. We're going all the way back to the United States. We're going to Bentonville, yes. Now, I wish I was out there right now. That's where I'm supposed to be right now, but I can't be because we're on lockdown in our houses and we can't go anywhere. Maybe in the next future. But this is Jason, he's been riding his YT Capra. And um, uh, he said, let me just read the description. He says, goofing off and killing time. Went for a fairly simple berm to berm transfer, transfer and lost it on the landing. Resulted in a fractured collarbone and a cracked kneecap. Hi, Jason, healing vibes? But can we watch it? Yeah. Run it. Ah, ah, damn it. Ah, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, Jason, 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 do you know what? It's a sh that, that you just locked up, you lost the front and you just, your helmet hit that berm. And your friend was saying, that's why you spend the money on good helmets. Yes, helmet is key when you go riding. I can't recommend it enough. Always wear a helmet when you go riding. 
And I'm glad you were wearing one there, Jason. I'm so happy. It saved you, but not your kneecap and um, not your collarbone. Let's play it again. Sorry, Jason. Let's play it again. Like, it looks so cool. You're like, rah, rah. but no, it's not cool, Blake. Anyway, let's move on. Move on. Right, we're gonna jump on a big iron bird. We're gonna get a first ticket flight all the way down under, back down under. We're going back to Australia, dudes. We're going to this bike park where Richie's been sending it. Now, this is a rad bike park. Look at it. Ah, oh, his friend's going. He's coming. Ah, oh, it's such a nice flight. Then, Again, a big OTB, but an undershoot landing on the front of the top of the knuckle of the landing and just getting spat over the bars. His friend literally thought he was under attack from the army and he just got out of there. That's how hard and quick his mate was like concerned for him. I, over the bars are the worst. I keep saying it, it's the worst, but let's watch it again. Let's watch him take off and land. Oh. Oh. He just gets bucked. He just gets bucked and lands and his friend just drops everything and just, I'm thinking, I'm imagining, he's running through the woods, skipping over all those crazy kill these things out there, them insects, running <laughs> to go and see him. He, um, he says, uh, he says, trying a new jump and went over the bars. That's all he says. And he, he, he was all right with that. He was fine. That's ridiculous. Oh man, there's so many crazy crashes and I have to pick one of them. Do you know what? One sticks in my mind. Well, actually it's, it sticks in my face. Mark, dude, I don't know how you moved a rock with your face and not get hurt. I pick you to be the winner, I think. Just thank you very much for sending that in. And I'm so happy that you came out unscathed because wow, how? There's a jersey, there's some shorts and some socks coming your way. Keep an eye on your email address because you're gonna get an email from us. Thank you very much for watching this rad video. Hopefully it's entertained you in these dark times. And if you wanna get involved with our fails and bails of the month, then head to the link in the description down below where there's an uploader. Just upload all your fails and bails to that. We love to watch it and you could be taking part in next month's fails and bails. Whew. I need a cup of tea after all that. I need to just calm down my nerves because man, there's some crashes happening right now. And it's been sent in. Just remember to stay safe, wash your hands, do all that rad jazz. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms and I'll see you beautiful people next time. See ya. Mark, how? How? Nice trail though.